Is there anything more Americana than the farmhouse interior design style? Rustic, comfortable, and cozy, just like apple pie and coffee. Although this style has been around for hundreds of years, it is no wonder that it has had a significant resurgence in the interior design world in the last decade or so. But first, just a little history. It's important to know that this style has its roots in simplicity and frugality. The farmhouse style first came on the scene in rural America in the 1700s and was born out of sheer necessity. As an aside, because this style originally came from Europe, you will see some elements of both French country and English country used as well. Okay, back to the American farmhouse style. All those farmers we had needed a place to live that was close to their crops. Hence, the birth of the American farmhouse. As a result, these farm homes were simple, practical, and used materials that were common in their area. Also, because farmers were frequently going in and out of their homes, the large wraparound porches were created to create a transition space, if you will, between the outdoors and in, becoming a classic element used in this style still today. Many of the furniture pieces that you would have seen back then you will still see today in this style, albeit perhaps a bit more modernized. Items like rocking chairs, the quintessential farmhouse dining table, and wood benches used at the dining table in the foyer or at the end of your bed. Speaking of the farmhouse dining table, a great look is to mix up the chairs you use for your dining chairs. Now you could use more traditional style shaker chairs if you like, which you'll notice has tapered legs created that way to make the chair as light as possible to easily move it around the room. But personally, I prefer to use industrial style metal chairs or white slip covered chairs for a more elegant look. To round out the dining room, add in a vintage buffet. Like many of the styles that we have discussed, do mix in some classic American antiques with more current pieces. For seating, look for simple skirted chairs and sofas and try using a trunk as a coffee table. Moving on to the bedroom, a wood or iron four poster bed is another classic piece and looks great in a farmhouse style master bedroom. For storage, I would encourage you to incorporate a large wooden cabinet, either in your dining room for your china in your bathroom to store your towels, or in your laundry room or hallway to act as a linen closet. Painted furniture, particularly white kitchen cabinets, are classic farmhouse style. Chalk paint is a great way to give a simple contemporary piece a farmhouse feel. In short, make sure that the furniture you use has simple lines and simple details to stay true to this style. When you look at a farmhouse home, what you will notice is wood, wood, and more wood. Specifically, medium or dark toned wide plank wood floors with a rough hue to them. Perhaps some wood wall paneling like shiplap. Exposed wood beams, butcher block kitchen counters, and of course, nearly all of the traditional furniture is crafted from wood. This is definitely a style where I would try to incorporate some reclaimed wood for a more authentic feel. A wall covered in reclaimed wood would look beautiful in this style. Try in your dining room. Apart from wood, other materials used are tumbled stone for the floors and galvanized metal for chairs, stools, and side tables. That's generally about it. You've got wood, stone, and metal. Pretty simple, right? Now, for soft materials, it doesn't get any more fussy or complicated. Cotton is the supreme textile in this style, probably no surprise, but definitely also find a way to incorporate some burlap, which can easily be done in your pillows and table runners. Also, consider linen blends and leather for sofas or chairs. The farmhouse color scheme continues the simplicity theme. You'll generally see pale neutral shades, a lot of white, 
some cream, beige, and some brown. Farmhouse walls are nearly always white, but today's modern home could use other neutral colors like beige or cream. Other colors to consider incorporating into your color scheme include rose pink, muted green, various shades of blue, butter yellow, or a deep red. Any guesses on what patterns you will typically see in a farmhouse home? Well, by far it will be stripes and checkered patterns. However, occasionally you may see subdued florals used as well. Now, fortunately, there are some great, uh, more contemporary versions of these classic prints. So don't be shy, use away. For window coverings, wood shutters are quite common, but I would also use flat Roman shades, or relaxed Roman shades, or bamboo roller shades, or light colored cotton drapes. For flooring, wide plank wood floors are far and away the best flooring to use in this style. But you could also use a tumbled stone, a terracotta tile, or even a brick floor in some areas like the kitchen and your foyer. Concrete would also be a possible flooring choice for a farmhouse style home. For rugs, please keep them simple. Think braided rag rugs, braided wool rugs, or simple traditional style rugs. Lighting is an easy place in which to add in some farmhouse charm to your home. Classic farmhouse lighting includes lanterns, either as hardwired pendants or not, mason jar pendants, and wrought iron chandeliers. Or to add some bling, use a crystal and iron chandelier, or even two, over your farmhouse dining table with those white slip covered chairs. This is a very contemporary, very chic farmhouse look. For other lighting options, definitely incorporate some chunky candle holders as this is a nice nod to the time before these homes actually had electricity. If you want to emphasize the French country influence in your lighting scheme, consider incorporating a French empire chandelier, either in your bedroom or in your dining room. Now, I bet you can guess what some appropriate artwork would be for your farmhouse style room. What do you think? Is there anything more farmhouse than pictures of classic countryside images such as barns and farm animals and flowered hillsides? I think not. You could go with classic images like the barn on the top left and the flower fields on the bottom or go with a more contemporary and abstract version of these subject areas like the pig on the top right. Now some other classic farmhouse design elements include a brick or stone fireplace surround with a heavy wood beam for the mantle, a clawfoot tub in the bathroom, so elegant, and the also super popular sliding barn door that is popping up in homes all across America right now, maybe in your own home. Beadboard wainscoting is also quite common in this style, and I would add it to your dining room, your bedrooms, and your bathrooms. Wallpaper is another element that can work quite well too in this style. Consider it for a powder room, the master bedroom, or a guest room. For accessories, be sure to have a quilt or two in your home and some wire baskets in your kitchen and your bathrooms for storage. Very chic and practical. In the kitchen, you can use wire baskets to store things like fruit, potatoes, onions, and even hand towels. In your bathroom, use these baskets to hold your toiletries. Other great storage items include metal pails and can be used for everything from rolled up towels to crayons for those kids. Mason jars or vintage milk bottles are great decorative items. Finally, let's not forget to add flowers, including wildflowers and roses. Very on point. Now, let's spend some time talking about the classic farmhouse kitchen because this truly was the most important room in this type of home. And what are the key design elements that will really give you that farmhouse vibe you're looking for? First, there is the ubiquitous farmhouse sink, an absolute must. Talk about the epitome though of practicality. These sinks were used to do everything from clean a chicken, 
to washing your baby or washing the produce. It needed to be large and the farmhouse sink definitely is that. It's such a cool sink that of course we now see it incorporated into many other styles of kitchens, at least across America. What else is classic farmhouse kitchen style? Definitely go with white or brown wood cabinets with bronze hardware and try to incorporate some glass front cabinet doors as well. Hanging lantern pendants are perfect in the kitchen. Also use some open shelving. Remember this kitchen is the workhouse of the home and the most commonly used items need to be easily accessible. So while open shelves look great, they are first and foremost extremely practical. Definitely be sure to have a solid collection of white ceramic dishware. And if you have the room in your kitchen, consider adding in some plate racks to display that pretty white ceramic dishware that you now have. Finally, throw in a hanging pot rack and a chalkboard for recipes and notes, and you've got a fantastic farmhouse kitchen. Now, let's take a look at another farmhouse kitchen together so we can see some of the classic styling elements of this style. Go ahead, take a look and jot down the specific farmhouse design elements that you see. Okay, first I see quite a bit of wood used, not just in the classic ceiling beams, but on the stair treads, the cabinets, the farmhouse table, and as an accent in the archway leading to the family room. Although we don't have a clear picture of the dining chair being used, it does look like a shaker ladder back chair. The color scheme is also classic farmhouse, using a lot of white, cream, and brown with red as the accent color. You can, of course, all see the classic farmhouse sink and a plate rack displaying a nice collection of ceramic dishware. They've also used a terracotta tile floor, which is very true to the style. And finally, we see candles being used on both the dining table as well as on the fireplace mantel in the family room. So what stores would I go to to find furnishings in the farmhouse style? Well, fortunately, this style is not hard to find right now, and it is nearly everywhere. I'm not kidding. Some places I would for start first include antiquefarmhouse.com, cottagehomefurniture.com, lavenderfieldsonline.com, zinhome.com, cosplusworldmarket, and etsy.com. If you love the show Fixer Upper, then you may be thrilled to know that Chip and Joanna Gaines have their own farmhouse style furniture line called Magnolia Homes, which you could check out as well. Just Google Magnolia Home Furniture and you will see different stores that carry this particular line. From a budgetary standpoint, just like with French Country, you can definitely keep the cost down with this style if you are willing to hunt for bargains. That said, I would categorize the style as low to moderate budget needs.